Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm an IRS enrolled agent with EA Tax Resolutions and today I'm answering my client's favorite question. How do I pay the IRS? Okay, so how do we pay the IRS? This is a great question. We got five ways that we can pay the IRS. You can pay when you file online, by phone, by mail, or through, believe it or not, the IRS has a smartphone app that you can use to pay the IRS. Okay, let's start with the easiest uh, way to pay the IRS. It's when you file. So if you e-file, as most people do, be aware most e-file software providers do not offer the credit or debit card option to pay the IRS. Some do. You'll want to check with your e-file software provider before starting to prepare your return if that's what you're thinking of how to pay for your taxes. And just be aware if you do use the card, uh, they will charge a processing fee for your transaction. Now, if you're gonna use your checking or savings account, all you'll need is the account number, the routing number, and a date you want the funds to be withdrawn from your bank account. Uh, be sure the date is before your due date. Uh, and once you click e-file, the IRS will then take the funds out of your bank account on the chosen date. Now, on the flip side, if you paper file, which some people still do, all you have to do is include a check or money order in the envelope that you include your tax return in. Be sure to make the check or money order payable to the Department of the Treasury and include your social security number, the tax year, and the tax form that you're filing on the memo line of the check or money order to make sure the IRS doesn't apply your payment to someone else's account. Uh, now, onto the second option, online. So depending if you wanna use the debit or credit card or the check in your savings account, you know, there's various websites you have to use. So, the checking or savings account will not incur any processing fee and you will be using the IRS's direct website. It's called IRS Direct Pay. And when you use their website, which I will include a link in the description below, uh, you'll need to have your tax return handy as they will be asking for information from your return, you know, to verify who you are and you're paying for the correct account. Now, if you wanna use the uh, debit or credit card option, the IRS has three companies that they use uh, for these transactions. They do include processing fees. Uh, however, it works to pay for your taxes. So I'll include a link to the three various websites to use for your debit or credit card online. Another option to pay for your taxes is through the phone. So again, the three companies that you use online for the debit or credit card is the same companies you would call. Uh, if you want to use the debit or credit card. And again, I'll, I'll include their phone numbers in the description below as well. Now, if you want to use the checking or savings account, you got to call the IRS directly. This is probably one of the worst options to do. Yes, you will not be paying the processing fee, but you will be on hold for a good hour, two hours, um, as you know, the IRS is backed up when receiving phone calls. So I will include the phone numbers below, but just be aware that, you know, that's what and that's how much time that will entail to, to pay for your taxes if you want to call. Now, another option, which is great as well, is, is to pay through the mail. Now, the address that you're sending your check or money order to depends upon where you live in the nation. So I'll include another link in the description below on where to mail your check or money order to depending upon where you live in the nation. Now, the, the fifth and final option to pay the IRS is through the IRS to go smartphone app. Um, it's a real easy app to use. Again, have your tax return handy. It's just as you're gonna go online. Uh, it's kind of the same process. They're gonna be asking for information from your return to verify who you are. Um, and you can use actually a debit or credit card or your checking or savings account through this app. Again, debit or credit card's gonna incur a transaction fee. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. We thank you for watching.